Look at your punk ass. Look at me. Playboy T, owner of In House Records, the number one independent record company on the West Coast. How did I get caught up in this? He's your punk ass now. Man, I thought we was bigger than that, man. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck, man? talking about, nigga? This is business, homeboy. Nigga, friends is bigger than business, nigga. Shut the fuck up. My motherfucking friend, nigga. nigga. Shut up. Well, it all started when I launched in-house records. At that time, I didn't realize how ruthless the music business was. Full of drugs, shady record executives, gangsters and hoes. But I thought I had it made. See, I was managing and producing the hottest up-and-coming rapper out of Compton, Nitron. Everybody in Compton in LA knew about that fool. Believe me, this cat was hot. He was young, he was wild, and most important, he had talent, raw talent. You be the judge. I put the two on the 10 and put the five on the gym because I'm trying to get in because I'm in it to win. I'm coming straight up out of Compton. It's the grid pumping, be still bumping. Let me tell you something, boy, I can't beat us. I'm too fly style, leaning and shading up in a 69 glass house. Bitches want to get at me, niggas want to play a hate. But I bounce, rock, skate, catch them on another day. Nigga can't be asked out, sitting in the courthouse. Been there and done that. Do it out. Nigga, I'm a young rider, calm town, down daughter, smoking on a swisher, and I'm popping big collars. Nigga, I'm a street scholar. You know what, nigga, gotta keep them hoes on their toes. If I see them, I'ma holler. Another day on the block. You know it don't stop. In house without a doubt. Young riders to the top. Beat bumping on my silicones, devastate the microphone. Hoes wanna fuck me cause they know I got it going on. Ring around the rose, pocket full of pose, drinking OE, talking shit with all my OGs. Nigga, I'm a hipster, you know I who bang. Ain't nothing changed, homeboy, it's a rider right thing. Nigga gotta maintain, slanging over cane. Gotta get the paper cause it's all about the money, man. Young rider click gang, to my very last day. Nigga gotta stick flows cause I'm trying to get paid. In house running shit, boy, you best believe that. Talking all that riff rap.
Not only did I have Night Train, I had this whole clique riding with me. Scat Rat and Wicked Insane. They was from South Central. They called themselves the Young Rider Clique, YRC for short. See, Night Train was from Compton. Rat and Wicked was from South Central. They had a gang of young riders down with them from all parts of L.A. They was kind of like a mini Wu-Tang clan. We knew we was about to sew it up. train no. And our executives have been promising us record deals since day one. All we ever got was bullshit meetings and bullshit results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call this cat back real quick, man. I'm gonna yeah, call her man. back. I'm gonna go in here house and business. Yeah, I'm finna gonna get right and wicked, man. We finna go down there to Magic Johnson. Right right there, there, man, man I got my <laughs> shit twisted up, man. Uh -huh. Dealing with fake record executives can really screw up your career and your life. But not in this case. Meet Pat Diggs, VP of a and at Bullshit Records. Man, you don't even know what we can do for you. Me and Pat met the night before at the Poet and Showcase. Kicking it with Pat was like kicking it with one of the homies. We got blunted. We down a couple of Long Islands. He was hella cool. And he was sprung on that Night Train song. Word around town was that he was looking for some West Coast gangster shit. Pat was the man. Bullshit Records. This digs. Hey, this Playboy T with in house records. Playboy T. Oh, oh, Playboy T from last night, man. What's going on? I'm just following up, man. Like you know, like we talked about last night, man. Man, I, I'm uh, I'm digging your boy Night Train. He was uh, he, he was sounding pretty good last night. Whole floor got whole floor. Everybody on the dance, everybody got up. Everybody jumped up, started dancing. Yeah. Cause man, LA is looking for that man. I couldn't believe it, man. Where's this guy from? Night Train, the new kid out of Compton. Compton. He got a little buzz out there on the streets already, you know. He's the new youngster out of LA. I've been hearing about, huh? Yeah. I know it, man. You felt like you wanted to get out there and dance too, huh? Yeah. Just basically, man, make a long story short, I just want to follow up on a meeting tonight. Nah, man, I'm not be able to make it tonight. I got, I got, I got stuff on my agenda. Maybe we can uh, hook up later on, or you can call. How about, why don't you call my secretary tomorrow morning and uh, set up an appointment, set up a meeting, and we, uh, we'll get, we'll get together, and uh, you can give me a copy of your stuff, and we can, I can tell you. All right, well, um, maybe uh, tomorrow. You know, tomorrow is okay. So you call you call tomorrow. You talk to my secretary. You set up an appointment, okay? All right, man, Pat. I, 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 I appreciate your time, man. Okay. 
Talk to you later. Pat faked on me the first meeting. I wasn't tripping. Besides, it was a spare the moment meeting anyway. Shit happens. It's all good. I gave him a pass. Now this cat right here, a real grimy thug type nigga. They call him the Ville. He's from the most notorious gang in Compton in LA. NWA. Also known as niggas with attitudes. Look at him. Fresh out the counter. He had his two hitters come pick him up. Big Rock and CJ. Little did I know, we're about to run into each other. I haven't seen him in years. We grew up together. Like five months, but man, man, I heard you in the music business. Man, man you know, that. man, I'm just trying to live, just dot my eyes, cross my teeth. Right. Man, I, I got this porno, you know me and Yellow got this porno shit cracking too, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I was pretty much paying the bills. This music shit hey, taking too motherfucking this long, though, man. Man, You need some uh -huh. help. Need some Hell help yeah, man. Time, nigga, you know, just let me know. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Man, Master this nigga P. fresh yeah. out, boy. Trip, though, trip, though. What's trip, up? though. This is real talk, nigga. P, Master P, all the niggas. Nigga, they got money like me, street nigga like me. Nigga, I need to put my shit, some shit like that, nigga. Get that shit cracking, nigga. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, look. If you need me, anything, dog, any kind of money, nigga, it don't matter how much, I let me. DeVille always had my back. He was also hella rich. He was the type of cat to own apartment buildings and food spots in the hood and wouldn't tell nobody he owned them. He was just low-key like that. That day actually turned out to be kind of cool. I just recorded another hit song with Night Train, had Pat Diggs from Bullshit Records on deck, and I ran into the childhood homie that I ain't seen in years. He was ready to mash with me too. It was only crack. Plus later that night, I was finally hooking up with this fine ass girl that I've been trying to get with for months. She was a model. Before I knew it, she had me doing something I never thought I'd do. Cocaine. Now how I get you to have me start fucking with this shit? Wait, hold on. When I'm doing being all mushy and about to make love, 
I'm Playboy T. I'm supposed to be beating this coochie up. Matter of fact, like Too Short say, I'm going to start the record over. And handle this like a real player is supposed to do it. I forgot I told Night Train to come to the studio early the next morning. I've been up all night tricking with baby. <laughs> I was coked out. Any other day he'll show up late, but of all days, he shows up early. He was just anxious to find out what happened in that meeting with me and Pat. I didn't want to ruin his little vibe before we started his next recording session. We was laying vocals. So I lied. I told him me and Pat's meeting went cool. Knowing that the meeting never happened. Go in there and uh, finish your ad libs. Yeah, what's up? We got to lay one more track down to the, um, for the uh, chorus. Yeah, what's up? What's up? And then we're going to mix it, and then I'm going to have it for him in a couple of days. Well, you know, I'm going to go on up in here, man, you know, put my razzle dazzle down. Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying? Go on and roll you up a blunt and whatnot. And yeah. uh, let me go on up in here and uh, wash my tongues off. Yeah, I and, uh, see it, Wash this coochie juice off my nose, man. Yeah.